fierce lightning storm was raging outside on the midnight between July 9th and 10th, 1856. Jika Tesla was about to give birth to the baby that was going to change the world forever using his electrifying inventions. Nikola Tesla had a vision, a vision of what's to come into the future. Milutin Tesla was a righteous orthodox priest and took the ongoing storm as a bad omen, especially that during the birth procedure there was a great battle between thunder and lightning. He feared that young Tesla will become a child of sin but Ori he was of what he'll truly become. Contrary to her husband's beliefs, Jika Tesla foretold her son's future correctly. She reposted by claiming with all her essence that young Tesla will become a child of light, and he was about to tame lightning as prophesied. Ever since he was of small age, Nikola Tesla invented all kinds of toys to entertain his peers. As he grew, Tesla learned how to tap into his extraordinarily and until then latent abilities. He could hear a thunderer from 150 miles away and could see colors that most people could not. When his mother died, he saw a sky full of light, of soothing sounds and marvelous creatures. And one of those beings possessed familiar traits of his mother and was looking at Tesla with infinite love and compassion. With the gift of light bestowed upon him, Tesla then started shaping the 20th century after his own inherent understanding of the universe. Over the course of his life, he received more than 800 different patents. His out-of-this-world abilities allowed him to simply look towards the sun and understand the mechanism behind it and ways he could apply that knowledge using the means at his disposal. Looking at lightning, this fortunate birth woman, Tesla knew how to manufacture it. He often said before being struck by an idea, it came like a flash of lightning and in an instant the truth was revealed. This is one of the characteristics of Tesla that's really important, is that he was very good at coming up with sort of simple demonstrations to show people uh, what the possibilities were for the technology he was working on. During the 1893 World Expo in Chicago, he unleashed the power of lightning through a coil designed by himself, sending large lightning bolts towards the amazed crowd. What was even more bewildering was the harmful yet extremely effective alternating current passing through Tesla's body without harming him one bit. The crowd thought of him as a superhuman and although they were not far off from the truth, he was using a different type of electricity that was different than the other little invention of his rival Thomas Edison. Unlike Edison's direct current, Tesla invented the alternating current, which was extremely efficient. He assembled various generators and motors and transformers based on this technology, for which he held 40 US patents. A battle of ACDC began between the two, and Tesla was proclaimed victorious after his breakthrough technology had been acquired by industrial inventor George Westinghouse to be implemented across America. The gap between the two technologies was that Edison's direct current transformers required sizable power plants and thick cables, but those made by Tesla could be transmitted over exponential distances through thin wires and their intensity could be controlled using a simple switch. His dream as a boy of harnessing the power of Niagara Falls to create electricity was accomplished in 1893, where the first hydroelectric power plant was built, paving way to the electrification of the entire world. Well, he was a real pioneer. He had to team with uh, George Westinghouse to wire Niagara Falls. It was one of the first major applications of hydroelectric power in the United States and the world and then they built a system around alternating current and delivering it to big cities which made uh, a lot of things possible. Uh, big skyscrapers, 
uh, office buildings, uh, electricity, lights in the homes, and a raft of other inventions. Tesla is also credited for the invention of the electric motor present in every appliance in your house today. He also made the fluorescent bulbs, neon signs and the speedometers for automobiles. Due to the greedy nature of humankind, Tesla had to face many ordeals. Three years before Wilhelm Röntgen was credited for the discovery of X-ray radiation, Tesla had already discovered it and spoke about it extensively. Once he was offered $5,000 to enhance some ideas of Thomas Edison, but after doing so, Edison renounced his part of the bargain by claiming the deal was a mere joke. About the bonus, the $50,000. You said if I successfully designed a DC generator that I would get a bonus of $50,000. That was 000. a joke. How was that a joke? You obviously don't understand our American sense of humor. Among the many merit awards stripped off Tesla, we count the invention of the radio in 1893, for which Tesla received a patent, but in 1904, the award went to Guglielmo Marconi because the inventors backing him up were none others than Edison and Andrew Carnegie. After 29 years of continuously fighting to recognize his patent, Tesla had finally received hearing from the US Supreme Court which determined that 15 out of Marconi's 16 patents were instead invented by Nikola Tesla. The Supreme Court ruled out in his favor, unfortunately one year after he died. He was a man so much ahead of the year he was born. At the start of World War I, Tesla suggested a way in which the Allies could track German submarines using waves of energy, the technology that later would become known as radar. Edison yet again dismissed his idea as absurd. During the same period of the First World War, Tesla envisioned a death ray capable of electrocuting entire armies and destroying tens of thousands of airplanes over a distance of 250 miles by hitting them with beams of concentrated particles. He believed that empowering every nation with such death rays, or peace beams as he dubbed them, would make them renounce war because of the fair share of mass destruction arsenal all of them would possess. JP Morgan was the first man contacted by Tesla to ask for funding to bring his project to life, but no deal was reached, so when the war had started, he delivered elaborate papers of the weapon free of charge to various allied countries fighting in the war. JP Morgan was the first man contacted by Tesla to ask for funding to bring his project to life, but no deal was reached, so when the war had started, he delivered elaborate papers of the weapon free of charge to various allied countries fighting in the war. He obtained his last patent in 1929. It was a prototype of the helicopter initially imagined by Leonardo da Vinci. Although Tesla is remembered to have received 700 patents out of the 840 he applied to, Today, we can only find 112 US patents and 34 international patents attributed to his name. He died on January 7, 1943, inside a room of the New Yorker Hotel with his pockets empty and no one at his side. The Western media drew the image of Tesla as a pitiful old man, heartbroken after a life full of burdens and challenges. But reality was far from this ignorant image coined by the press. Tesla was indeed heartbroken, but not because he had no woman at his side, nor children and grandchildren. He died unfulfilled because the greed and other forces at work in this society tried to deny the world his luxuriant legacy. The man who invented the 20th century tried to illuminate the entire world. He craved this so much 
that he sold his personal royalties worth $12 million to George Westinghouse for only $260,000. He did this in order to accomplish his plan of delivering inexpensive energy to the people. If Tesla hadn't done so, he would have probably become the first billionaire in history, surpassing John D. Rockefeller, who achieved this by 1916. I think that the fact he was integrating a lot of different ideas, so robotics was controlled by radio, radio be became part of this huge communications network. He wanted to transmit data, he wanted to transmit voice and images, but he all saw it coming out of one system. So he saw the big picture, and I think we need to focus on what does that big picture mean? How is it going to improve people's lives? What does it mean in terms of reducing labor? And he thought all these things through, and when you come up with a big concept, sometimes it seems very unwieldy, but down the road, it becomes a great big project that's going to help a lot of people. How would the world have looked like if the great mind of the 20th century had been given free hand to enhance this planet? Tesla could harness energy from within himself. He called it vital energy and combined it with his mental energy to materialize his ideas. He had complete mastery over his feelings and practiced Kundalini Yoga, an ancient Hindu technique which allowed him to control the vital energy within. He mostly wore gloves from fear of not dissipating his energy when meeting other people. He considered a woman as the greatest thief of vital energy and decided to take a vow of celibacy to never hinder his spiritual power. He believed that an ill spirit is what causes different diseases and that man has the power to heal from within. Tesla could also envision what he was about to invent inside his mind. He kept all his secrets there and although his life work was burned completely during the Colorado Springs fire, he was still able to remake everything using only his mind, for he had everything safely stored inside there. What is the uh, proper relationship, what should be the proper relationship between a chairman of the Fed and a president of the United States? Well, first of all, the Federal Reserve is an independent agency, and that means basically that uh, there is no ag other agency of government which can overrule actions that we take. So long as that is in place and there is no evidence that the administration or the Congress or anybody else is uh, requesting that we do things other than what we think is the appropriate thing, there has been a great plot to hinder humanity's progress, fact proven through this martyr who remained with the light till the end of his mortal existence. Even after his death, Tesla wasn't allowed a peaceful final rest because the US government, through the FBI, grasped all his research papers and personal notes, assuring that they'll never resurface again. Was this move due to the controversial nature of Tesla's inventions? or because the government was slowly being infiltrated by agents of evil eager to sack humanity of all glory and kindness. One of the most futuristic topics that obsessed Tesla was time travel. Accounts remind of one of his inventions that succeeded in breaking the space-time barrier, sending Tesla to a place where he could see the past, present and future all at the same time it was 1895 when Tesla realized that magnetic fields could influence the very fabric of time. There are no official reports of this event, only the account of an eyewitness who met Tesla soon after this endeavor. It was allegedly revealed that he traveled inside an electromagnetic bubble that shielded him during the journey. Interestingly enough, the notorious Philadelphia experiment from 1943 used the same magnetism principles to phase out an entire vessel belonging to the Navy. The experiment is not officially recognized, but behind closed doors, rumors say of how the ship was teleported miles off the coast before reappearing back in the same spot. The crew members were merged with the surroundings, and those who survived 
lost their minds not long after this occurrence. Although Tesla may have laid the foundation of this experiment, it stands as a reminder of how the government abusively used his breakthrough ideas. Another daring claim about Tesla was made by one of his biographers, T. R. Schwartz. He conveyed at one time during experiments performed using a powerful radio antenna designed to monitor thunderstorms in Earth's atmosphere, he overheard a peculiar radio transmission he believed originated from a source outside of the Earth. Tesla was curious if he was assisting to one planet greeting another and soon this idea became obsessive to him. He then started improving the radio receivers to try and reach this outlandish source again. His perseverance allegedly paid off, and Tesla managed to establish a connection with these otherworldly colors again. He could then hear and understand them as if they were earthlings speaking back and forth to each other, but couldn't comprehend their dialect, although deep down it felt like he understood them. Tesla established a more powerful connection with them during his work at the laboratory in Colorado Springs, and chances are that the government found out about it, so they've set the place on fire together with whatever inventions Tesla was working on. Luckily that he kept most research inside his head, for he was brilliant and understood towards his final years that our species may have been too unripe to behold all the knowledge he had stored. He once asserted that an endless source of energy is found in a place nobody has ever suspected, but he cleverly took this secret to the grave. Although Tesla's ingenious plan to offer Earthlings free electricity and enhance the Earth by creating a luminous ring around it was never accomplished, he remains a prominent benefactor of our species who steered us in the right direction. But how would the world have looked like without this great genius that bridged the gap between the 20th and 21st century and kickstarted the future we experience today? An Earth without Tesla is mostly unimaginable, or maybe extremely painful to imagine, as he gave us the gift of electricity and how to tame it and transmit it without burdening the planet with endless power plants. Tesla sacrificed himself for the greater good of this planet and our species, and for this deed he remained unaccomplished. What would have happened if humanity's greed hadn't interfered with Tesla's vision of an electrified planet? How would the world have looked like today with a limitless power source at our disposal? For now, we can only imagine. For the road he had paved between the past and the future of technology, let's pay homage to the genius of Nikola Tesla and repay his tremendous contribution and sacrifice by recognizing his achievements and making his inventions known to the world. <laughs>